What's up, my friends and the viewers of the tube? Today, or actually yesterday, um, and probably a few days later, depending on when you watch this video, but I have won at D5, and now I am playing on house money, and that is the ultimate goal when it comes down to D5, is ultimately, can you get your money out, and can you have that money be just house money? And what do I mean by house money? I mean, you put in more than you invest and you're able to take your original, uh, I guess, investment out. And that's exactly what I've done. So let's get into the juicy, juicy details. I'm gonna open up exactly how much I invested and how much I pulled out and how much I actually have left over. So let's get into the details. Remember to like and subscribe, and smash the like button, ring that notification bell, and let's do this. If you are someone who's into wanting to learn, by the way, uh, you can check out boringpassiveincome.com. I've included a link in the description, so let's do this. So this is all of the money I have invested in uh, crypto uh, over the last few years. Uh, probably actually the last, yeah, few years, I would say maybe two years. And so I invested 66,000 um, of my own money and I have now taken out $78,000. So in total profit, I am around 11,900 that I've taken out and I still have an additional 19, almost $20,000 in crypto. Um, I have sold off all my notes um, and I decided just to take that profit. And that's where you see this last uh, bit here at 18,000. Uh, that's what I took out a few days ago. But I still have my uh, Phantasma, which I'm a, a believer in long term. I saw it go up to $3 and I knew I should have took profits then. But, you know, it is what it is. I would have a lot more, but we went into a bear market and it is what it is. I do have a little bit of cake. I think this is actually up to 850. And uh, ETH, I think I have like 100 bucks in cake cal uh, on my wallet. I do have about 500. Uh, the thing with cake cal is it mints me from having and holding Phantasma. So um, I wouldn't hold this. I'm actually just going to sell these tokens once the blockchain is uh, open to do transfers. Um, I do have a few boxes still. Um, I have a weapon for spider tanks. I do have a epic, um, I guess, uh, what am I trying to say? An epic piece of land in one of the games from Gala Games. And then I have some rebel bots. And so that is currently my holdings. I will diversify. I think I have like maybe $300 in ARC. So I think I have like 300 there. Um, so a little bit more, just over 20,000 it looks like. If we actually go over to my, um, uh, to this, we can see, let's pull up these transactions right here. It's blank, but we'll fix that. Boom. All right. So as you can see here, I uh, pulled out 11,000 uh, in Matic, sold that to a uh, on to crypto.com. Um, I had 7,700 in USDC, and I had 282 in wrapped ETH. And I sent that all to crypto.com and cashed that out. And that's where we got our uh, good number of about um, 18,700. Um, obviously, this is going to change as the price goes up. So in the grand scheme of things, if I were to uh, go back here, and if I would have cashed out today, uh, I would have had a little bit more. I would say about... Um, maybe a thousand dollars more which is great plus i would have got fees but i will be planning on doing the ultimate uh, money loop again and using my uh, nfts that i'm cashing out and i'll just use that for liquidity farming um, i won't be doing any nfts or gaming i just feel like there are such better games in the web 2 space than there ever will be in the web 3 space and it's just there you look at some of these big games. Uh, I, I can't think of the game right now. Uh, 
it's a space game and they have a whole economy and it's we've always had digital currencies in the online space even in web food games you can sell skins you can sell which are on like the steam marketplace you can sell all sorts of different things and i just feel like the play to earn space is too expensive for shitty games and so i'm cashing out all my crypto gaming stuff i'm gonna take that money and just put in liquidity farming and just call it a day and uh, just hold uh, or hodl. Um, I don't plan on um, doing anything other than that, actually, because I find that getting fees is probably the best way to um, make passive income in crypto. Uh, obviously, if you flip NFTs, that's another option. We have a whole training on that, how to flip NFTs, how to uh, DeFi farm, uh, liquidity farm, how to create the old infinite money loop. So all these different things to to actually do that. Uh, me, the reason being I decided to play with house money and take out as much profits as possible is because I wanted to be uh, in the profit. Um, I wanted to uh, pretty much take out as much that I invested and now play with house money because ultimately that's the goal of DeFi is being able to take your profits out and just play with house money. I still, like I said, I still have $20,000 or so in crypto. And in the next few months, if it decides to crash even more, then I'm gonna be fine because I'm just gonna be liquidity farming after that. Um, but for me, I just feel that um, I'm rebalancing my allocations. I will be uh, playing with house money, like I said, and using DeFi and liquidity farming to do that. Um, and I love to do it on Polygon because Polygon is cheap transactions. I mean, pennies versus dollars. So you're saving a lot of money in fees. And um, really NFTs are only as good as the, the projects behind it. Um, I feel like a lot of these projects are, are gonna last, but I feel like the games aren't that good. So they're not gonna bring in a lot of different gamers. Um, I know that some of them, like say Gala Games, just bought like 3 million subscribers for, because they acquired a mobile gaming company. <clears throat> but to, you have to think like Web2 and the games on just a regular, without crypto, there's a lot less to worry about um, in mechanics to actually create versus Web3, you actually have to do a lot more coding. You have to secure like smart contracts, all these things that just eat away at the profits of the company. But, um, you know, it, it is a risk. And I just feel like people aren't going to spend, if they want mass adoption, uh, then there are, people aren't going to spend uh, thousands of dollars to play a game when you could literally spend, I mean, some mobile games do that. I mean, look at Diablo 2, but, or Diablo um, Immortal, but all these play to earn games are, I feel, are overvaluated. Um, but that's just my opinion, and I just wanted to share with you guys that I won DeFi uh, for myself. Uh, I mean, it's not a competition, but I'm, I'm happy that I've been able to pull out all of the money I've invested and still have house money to let uh, that grow. And you know what? If I have $20,000 in crypto that is house money and we're at the bottom of the market, then it's only gonna go up, hopefully. So not financial advice, but um, it is what it is. That's it, guys. Until next time, remember to like and subscribe, smash the like button, ring the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one.